Hello everyone, welcome to News in Flash column of 21st October 2021, which is brought to you by Loss Eco. The first news in point which we are going to discuss today is web-based project monitoring portal for military engineer services. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh launched web-based project monitoring portal for military engineering services at New Delhi. The portal conceptualized in accordance with the Digital India mission of the Union Government. It has been developed by Bhaskar Acharya National Institute for Space Applications and Geoinformatics. The newly launched Unified Portal is the first project management e-governance to be implemented by, the, by MES. It will enable real-time monitoring of projects from its inception to completion. Next, we have India achieves mi milestone of 100 crores COVID vaccinations. The cumulative COVID-19 vaccines doses administered in the country surpassed 100 crores milestone today. According to the government's COVID website, over 70 crore people have been administered the first dose of COVID vaccine, while 29 crores have received the full doses. The top five states which have administered the highest number of doses are Uttar Pradesh, followed by Maharashtra, West Bengal, Gujarat, and Madhya Pradesh. In India, three vaccines have been in emergency use, namely Covishield, which is manufactured by Serum Institute of India, Covaxin, manufactured by Bharat Biotech Limited, and Sputnik V, developed by Gamalia Research Institute of Russia. Drugs Control General of India, that is DCGI, has also granted emergency use authorization to three other vaccines by Moderna, Johnson & Johnson, and Zydus Cadilla, two of which are expected to help ramp up the vaccination drive by October-November. Next, we have Alexei Navalny wins European Union's Sakharov Rights Award. The European Parliament awarded the Sakharov Prize for Human Rights to jailed Russian opposition figure Alexei Navalny, who last year, year survived a poisoning attack he blames on the Kremlin. Navalny, also nominated but passed over for this year's Nobel Peace Prize, was jailed in February after returning to Russia from Germany, where he was treated for the attack. The Sakharov Prize, set up in 1988 and named after Soviet dissident Andrei Sakharov, is awarded every year to those fighting for human rights or democracy. Next, we have UPSC helpline for the candidates of SC, ST, OBC, EWEs, PV, BD categories. The nation is celebrating the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav to commemorate the monumental occasion of the 75th anniversary of Indian independence. To be part of this grand celebration and a step in this discretion, the Union Public Service Commission has opened a helpline with the objective to assist the candidates belonging to SC, ST, OBC, EWS, and persons with benchmark disability who have applied or are intending to apply for the Commission's examination recruitment. So this was all for the news in flash today. We hope you like our session. Also, if you wish to follow it, definitely give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you so much for watching and do subscribe it. <laughs>